Hey guys, Jason with UE here. Um, we're out on the trail, just finished up a session and now we're going back to the trailhead. Um, so just wanna take a second to um, talk about a topic from a, a survey that we put out. And um, what uh, the survey, you know, what people wanted to know um, was how do I set goals? So I thought I'd take a second to kind of explain um, the process that I use and um, to set my own goals, how we coach. Um, so it's really a, a process with about four main categories with about six subcategories. Um, and we try to go about it from a kind of a systematic approach. So the first category is, um, is a why. We would go with kind of a who, why, where, when, why, how process. And the first category is why. And the reason that is the first um, category that we use is because over the years I've found that that's really the most important by far is the why. You have to know why you're doing what you're doing and you have to believe in it and you have to have um, the desire to do it. And notice I say desire and not motivation because those are really two different things. Um, the de desire is something that's you know intrinsic and deep-seated. Um, you know, motivation um, is something that kind of wanes, it comes and goes. Um, you know, when you're on a mountaintop at 2 a.m. and it's raining and it's cold and, you know, you've been going for, uh, you know, 24 hours and you're tired, um, you know, that, that motivation from that Tony Robinson book that you uh, read, you know, that's not going to get you as far as uh, that, that deep-seated uh, desire that's intrinsic um, that's going to allow you to overcome um, a lot of things so knowing why you're doing something is really kind of the first step in the process um, and then the second step is kind of the the who who's doing it is it just you individually or are you doing it with a team um, you know is it um, like a, an adventure race where you guys really have to rely on each other? Is it like a Ragnar? Um, is it, you know, an individual race um, that you're going for for yourself? Um, you know, so once you understand that, then you can move on to the next step in the process. And that's figuring out the, the where, the when, um, all of that stuff. And you can really kind of reverse engineer that to, uh, you know, do I want it to be a certain time of year? Do I want it to be in a certain destination? Um, you know, and th those are usually pretty easy steps to, to line out. And then the final step is, you know, the how. And so once you have all your known variables, you know, you know who's doing it, you know what you're doing, what time of year, where it's gonna be, then you can take all of the, the, the known variables of that goal um, and just reverse engineer them into a, tra um, a training program. So, you know, if it's a, a hundred mile or is it a 5K, you know, um, am I trying to lose 100 pounds? You know, am I, um, you know, how many feet of elevation gain a loss? You know, um, is it gonna be a desert race? Is it gonna be a winter race? You know, all of these things you need to know before you can go into uh, sports specific programming for that actual goal you know and a lot of times um, you know this is the process that we'll go through with our athletes um, you know and ourselves too as we're setting our own individual goals but um, you know a lot of times an athlete will come with a goal already in mind so uh, some of these steps we may not necessarily have to go through because they're already answered you know we may just kind of make sure that it's an actual realistic goal for the individual you know, and um, sometimes, you know, that goal may be, you know, reachable in 16 weeks. Sometimes it's six months. Sometimes it's a year longer. Um, and then these are goals also that we address with, you know, athletes that, you know, have been with us for a while. They maybe reach their goal, and then we go back to the process again and start over uh, to figure out what their next goal is. Maybe they finished a training season. Um, so, you know, we're figuring out uh, what the next um, macro cycle is for the next season um, or maybe we're going into an off season um, and all of this we go through the goal setting process 
so that we make sure that we're not just randomly shooting from the hip everything's dialed in and everything has a purpose you know we're everything that we do we want to have purpose behind it because that gives us um, such a higher probability of actually reaching our goal so anyway that's uh how we go about the process and i uh, hope that that helps you guys um not just in your training and setting your old goals but also just kind of in life in general so um, you can use that to make you know big decisions small decisions in your own life um, outside of you know uh, setting up races or uh, adventures or things like that so hopefully this helps and uh, we'll put out some more videos addressing some more topics that uh, you guys want to hear about or we think that um, you know are pertinent so talk to you soon